Welcome back. Easter is just around the corner and if you're looking for a Good Friday feast then Dean Diplock from Briefy House Resort in County Mayo has just what we need. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, good morning, sir. This is a belter. What are we doing? Uh, well, we're going to make a lovely West Mayo Coast pie. Beautiful. Uh, we have got some salmon, cod, uh, plain uh, smoked haddock undyed, uh, scallops, prawns, mussels, and a couple of goodies to go in with it. Oh, so, you have got the best produce in the world. Of course we do. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you want to give me a hand, Joe, quickly? Certainly, and Chef. we can get like the mash on the go. So I've just got some Maris Piper, uh, Maris Piper potatoes, uh, a kilo of them, and we're going to put them in potato ricer, right, yes, which yes. we talk about but never show how it works. If you can give that a good turn, oh, well. that way, right, this way, that way around. There you ah, go. Ah, gotcha, chef. There okay. you go, and there so it goes. So this is a potato through. ricer. There's your potato ricer, and that'll make your potatoes nice and smooth. You can get the handheld one, uh, but that's perfectly fine. While you're doing that. You can just give it a tap and pop it into that bowl for us. I have got um, 375 mils of fish stock there. That's fine. We just take it off the side. Hold on. There we go. Are you happy, Excellent. Chef? Excellent. Yeah, and you can just pop it to me. Thank you very much. And then this goes in here, Chef, yeah? Correct. Into that. All of it. A whole lot. And okay. there we go. So this is going to make sure we've no lumps. No lumps nice in it. There smooth. we go. Perfect. Now, Chef, what do you right, want to do Right, that's now? out of the way. And uh, I want you to mix in. Now, this is where gonna, normally we'd do this hot, but we want to cool down the mash a little bit because okay. we're going to put some egg yolks in okay. to help bind it. So I'm putting cold milk in, about and 100 mils. I've got milk. some butter in there as well, Chef. The butter's in the bottom. And you mix that thoroughly through, please. OK, I'm just going to add to this fish stock, as I said, I've got two bay leaves and, again, some fresh milk goes into that. I'm just going to whack that heat up a little bit. Oh, look at those there bugs, you go. will you? Right. Put a dash of pepper, dash of nutmeg, please, sir. And I'm going to start the roux over here. So we've got the butter on the go, in goes our flour. Now, we're making quite a thick sauce mm -hmm. because we want to, um, you know, put it over the fish and the juices from the fish will come out in the pie. And we don't want it running everywhere. We want it to be a little bit substantial. OK, that goes in. Now, if you've got that done, sir, yes, chef. you we can pop that into also your eggs. In go your eggs. Couple of egg yolks. Couple of egg yolks. Just to add to the richness. Correct. Look at those bad boys. Then you can pop them into a bag if you don't mind that much. This could technically be caught. I, I'm doing a workout here, aren't I? Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, cook and work out at the same time. Yes. Great. All right, I'm just going to poach my fish quickly, so in goes everything. Oop, 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 oop. Right, okay. in goes everything. And then I'm going into a piping bag with these, Chef. The just for a second, please. Yes, all into that. In goes my fish. Beautiful. And you might think that these are a bit runny, Chef, but when you cook this in the oven, it'll yeah, take it, the, it, the it will set with the eggs out of especially. Yeah. Yes, with the eggs especially. All right, all right. So, quick lid on that. So you've got your fish on the go. i got my fish, po fish poaching. Very, very quickly. I'm going to get that out of your way, sir. All right, I've got to get this up a little bit, but that's fine. I've earned my dinner today, have I, Chef? You have. You've earned your dinner. <clears throat> that should be fine for Fair us. Enough. Yeah, we'll just stick that in the second bag. Ready Marvelous. to go for the piping when I'm ready. OK, so the okay. fish is poaching. Yes, fish is poaching. The spuds are done. Spuds are done. Uh, we're going to bake this at about 180 degrees, and I'm using quite a large bowl to yes. put the fish in so that not too much of the sauce falls out. You know, often yeah. it bubbles in over. In fairness, it's a big portion, but it, fair it is. Bake, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for you, Simon, just yeah. for you. Look, for time purposes, I'm just going to hurry this up. Yeah, how long um, do we poach the fish for, Chef? Oh, just literally, you just want to uh, really release the flavours into yeah. uh, the milk more than anything else because we're going to cook it again. Yeah. Um, so now I've a little under poached this, but just for time purposes, I need to move on a little bit. Perfect. Uh, out comes our lovely fresh bay leaves. They come out. OK. And make like so. Let them drain a little bit to the side. Now that, that liquor that you post in is gold, isn't it? Well, that's where all the flavour is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> in, straight in, goes all the liquor in one move. So you've made a match. roux in there, haven't you, Chef? I've made a roux, quite a thick roux, as I said. This is not playing with me today. That's OK. Come along, come along, come along. And you're just going to... Uh, on top of that flour and the butter, you've added this flavoured milk. Correct, correct. But you'll see it'll start thickening and quite significantly. that's going to be our white sauce. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's gold, baby. Look at that. Right, into that now. I'm going to add some mustard. 
nice. with Dijon mustard. Okay, some good quality cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. All right, in goes our lemon zest. That's the zest of one large lemon or two smaller lemons. And you don't use the juice, Chef? No, nope, I don't want to get this too wet. I'm trying to keep this quite thick okay. for, the f uh, for the fish. Yeah. Bit of dill, okay. must have a little bit of dill. In goes some cream, oh, just to bring that mama. together. Uh, spring onions, about four sticks of spring onions. Lovely. That goes in. Uh, our peas. Some peas go in. This and already cooked mussels. These mussels are already cooked, ah, right. so uh, we don't need to cook them any further, otherwise they're going to get a little damaged. Okay. And uh, we bring that all together. Look at like that. So. That is full of flavour. Look at that. Plenty, plenty flavour in it. And you haven't even put the fish in yet, apart from the mussels. No. So the fish, you can mix into it, or we can just take it and go straight, and go straight in, like so. A little more of that liquor in there. Now, most fishmongers, if you go to them, say you're doing a fish pie, they will have, they'll make a mix up for you. It's a ready-made mix, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But you tend to find that it's that dyed uh, white fish. Yeah. So you want to avoid that. Go, go natural. It's, it's, it's okay. much tastier. Much, much tastier. Right, I'm just going to bring that together. But the fishmonger again. will prep it all for you anyway. Absolutely, you can yeah. buy it as you need to, yes, yeah. and just add um, your shellfish and things to it that, that you would like to have. Yeah. It's not a problem at all. Okay, so that all goes then on top of on our fish. The top of the fish. And is this will this feature on the, the menu in the in the hotel? It would be one of the dishes we make from time to time, yes. Um, certainly our chowder chowder is extremely popular and it's along the same lines. Yeah. But this is the bake as such. So that then goes over the fish. Beautiful. Now, the, as the fish releases its uh, juices, it will thin this out a little bit. So don't yeah. worry that it's too thick. Okay. Okay, so that's all done and dusted. And then, the beautiful and then lastly, potatoes. our mash. So a nice piping of mash. Beautiful, look at that. And you preheated the oven to what, Chef? Uh, 180 degrees Celsius. Um, get it nice and brown. The egg yolk will brown in the... I'm going to Mash. serve a portion for my colleague here. Okay. Is just, it okay, uh, Chef? Don't burn yourself, because it is hot. Please be careful. Beautiful. It's starving, Simon. Hurry up. I'm going as quick as I can. <laughs> Hold on there now. Wait now, wait. Fear Hold not, your wish. fear not. There's more. Oh, thank darling. you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. This smells delicious. And we haven't got another plate. I'm going to eat it straight out of the bowl. How about that? Well... Come to mine. No, you jump in there now and tell me. Careful now. Oh, look at that now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, Loving yeah, that, that is gorgeous. That. How does that look? Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm sublime. looking forward to tasting it. Yeah. What smoked fish did you use? I've used a, a natural smoked haddock. Oh, it's my favourite smoked yeah, haddock. It's, it's a lovely, lovely fish, really. So, so that underrated. goes in the oven for how long, Chef? Straight into the oven. About half an hour, 45 Beautiful. minutes, depending on how big your bowl is. But again, just stick a probe into it. <clears throat> Fantastic. Because I'm it's fish, go in. you don't have to cook it to death. Um, cook it up to... 72, 73 degrees Celsius as fish, as long as it's fresh. The lemon zest, oh man, that's delicious. good. It's good, isn't oh, it? Oh, you're good. I just got a whole scallop. Oh, did you? <laughs> I did. Lovely. Thank you, Dean. Great <laughs> really recipe. A pleasure. And Enjoy. as always, the full recipe details are up on the website. I recommend this one now. You can pop into Dean at Briefy House and he will hook you up with some top notch grub. Up next, what to do or not to do with your census form tonight. See you in a minute.